What's up, everyone? It's Anime Alex, your Monster Hunter build guru. Your monsty build guru back again with another build. This time is going to be on Hellblade Glavinus, which just dropped uh, today. So we're getting, well, I just made a build of it. My friend Sky made a build of Bolt Reaver. Uh, so I decided to try to rush and make a build of Glavinus. As you see, he's not finished. I'm still trying to grind out the skills. So please bear with me. I'll hopefully get him competitively ready for pvp by the end of the day today uh, or at least by tomorrow but for the first skill for the first gene is our fireclad gene xl which you can get from peak raytheon it gives you the move valiant flare which moderately increase uh, modernly increases our fire attack and defense for five turns and charges power for two turns what that means is basically our next attacks for the next two turns are going to be increased in power on top of our fire attack and defense it basically is our the best buffing move for fire monsties in the game so have fun using that it's just going to make hellblade incredibly strong and bulky which combos nicely with this build uh for the next skill our gene is our onslaught gene xl which is hellblade which is one of hellblade's innate abilities it deals heavy fire damage to one enemy with fairly high chance for a critical hit this is going to be your bread and butter move that you are going to be spamming and just trying to pick off one person and try to crit them to death this does tick damage and every single tick can crit it's crazy i've seen i've seen this do damage and just delete people Next up on our list are the Fire Fluid Splash, which deals medium fire damage to all enemies. Medium chance to inflict burn for three turns. We do get this from Ash Ketchawacha. It comes at 24 kinship cost. Our Onslaught Gene comes at 29 kinship cost. And our Valiant Flare comes out at 19 kinship cost, by the way. But this uh, is our tech attack option that is multi that we use to attack multiple, multiple uh, monsties and riders really good for 2v2s and really good for 1v1s and just uh a lot of pve like going through pve dens when there's multiple monsties what we're going to do with this is since it has a medium chance to burn we pair this up with inflict element gene which we need one more uh inflict rate up but the inflict rate up xl increases abnormal status inflict rate by a good amount so by the do by having this we can put everything on fire then well, while everything is on fire we pair this up with fire plus gene xl which is a mandatory skill which basically makes it to where we boost our fire attack by a serious amount uh by we boost this by a serious amount and also uh if you're watching this on Twitch uh, before this goes on YouTube, be sure to follow my Twitch uh, so you can actually see me stream. And hopefully you'll watch this video when it actually comes out <laughs> later today. So moving on with that, we also combine Inflict Ailment Fire Plus Gene with Salt in the Wound Gene Plus XL which we get greatly increases damage done to enemies with abnormal statuses so as you see the build is all coming together we fire clad gene to get our blue uh to get our boost all of our attacks are getting boosted by fire plus gene we mucus trying to inflict burn to anyone on the enemy side and then when they're burned, we can pick them off with Onslaught Gene or Hellblade for big, big numbers and try to hope for a crit. And all that's going to be procced. All that's going to be procking Salt in the Wound. And it's just going to be big, big damage and just crazy. I'm just talking crazy numbers. Uh, but that it doesn't end there. It doesn't stop there. We also have Heroics Gene XL. So a little sprinkle on top if they actually hit us below 50%, our attack will be greatly boosted. Obviously, when you have this up too, it'll be seriously boosted. I just need to find more Heroics XLs uh, to move over to my Hellblade. But 
we're going to Valiant Flare. We're going to get that defense. Uh, it's going to help us live multi-attacks. We're going to be a threat, so a lot of people are going to be aiming at this Hellblade. Uh, we're probably going to be healing it with a lot of pets, trying to get our kinship up so we can start spamming Onslaught genes. And obviously, we're going to be hit into Heroics. Hopefully, we'll get them on fire, and everything's just going to work out. Hopefully, we'll do a big crit, and this will one-shot a rider. When, when all that is being said and all these skills are being up to this can one shot a rider if they are on fire uh you will chunk them with mucus gene large and they'll probably have to heal but by the time they'll just be dead they'll just be dead if you crit with hellblade this is heavy fire damage with a crit rate that crits every single tick they will die if they do not have tenacity Next on our list is our Panacea Large, which negates all normal statuses. This is important because statuses are crazy in PvP and you can potentially lose the game or lose the, like, you can potentially just lose the match uh, off the wrong status. So we have this. Obviously, you want Excel. I do not have any Excels on me, so we gotta have to wait. It is what it is. Hopefully, I'll get more Excels by the end of the day and I will put this. So, till, uh, so just reminder if you have xls put xls here if you just have larges it's fine just try to get this up to until you have enough xls to get xl up to if you want to do scorching or the heavy swing which is glavinus's or normal glavinus's attack which you will attack everyone it'll do, and it will do deal physical damage uh then feel free to put that there if you're confident enough and you have or you have like dread queen's hunting horn to negate status elements or elements or if you're doing a crit build where you have crit then feel free to run uh, then feel free to actually run brutal strike uh if you want to do crit glavinous then i would recommend putting heroics here the brutal strike uh, over here and uh in like crit eye and then crit eye like right next to panacea if you're trying to do that uh do all of that good stuff and last but not least is our whip xl gene which is burning tail it's another one of hellblade's innate abilities it's a 14 king cost move that deals medium fire damage to one enemy but has a high chance to inflict burn for three turns uh this is our speed attack option it's pretty cheap and with inflict element up or inflict rate up it's just always going to burn it is basically always going to burn and so you could just pair that up with onslaught gene for a nice single target damage moving on moving on to our monstipedia monsty stats you see that hellblade is a power monsty so he's going to be kind of compared to teostra in that regards he's going to have two ticks left uh, two ticks less of max HP than Teostra. He's going to be around the same speed tier with five ticks into speed. His recovery is one tick less than Teostra, but his crit rate is at nine out of ten. And so that's way more than Teostra. So he serves the purpose or he serves the niche as a physical attacking fire monster and will crit everything while Teostra serves as the special attacking monster, which he's going to basically put Blast Blight everywhere ignition breath and do supernovas for high high damage and do a, a lot of aoe's well hellblade is going to do a lot of single target damage hellblade's elemental attack is actually one less coming in at number two and i believe believe tied with bracky for the second highest fire attack but his defense is going to be higher than teostra so he's going to be way more bulkier than teo so Honestly, they could be on the same par. Maybe Teo is going to be a little bit better. Who knows? Uh, honestly, with the metagame, I've always said Teo is basically an S tier monster, one of the best monsters in the game. Hellblade is kind of close to Teostra level. So, uh, so if anything, Hellblade's A tier. Uh, really good. If you haven't gotten Hellblade, get yourself a Hellblade now. Really fun to use. With all that being said, this video is going to go up later today. Hopefully you will enjoy it. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Check out my other Monsty Build videos and Monsty uh, Monster Hunter Stories 2 PvP vid videos. And with all that being said, catch you in the next one. Peace out, all my fellow weebs and weebets.